my name is Brianna Claggett and I'm going to be leading you through the Aries virtual yoga class for our grounded astral paths. So here we are, we found ourselves in the sign of Aries, which means that we're going to be seeing some major themes surrounding leadership, aggression, confidence, and Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, which means we're also going to be feeling this pioneering energy, you know, maybe wanting to go out and try something new, take some risks, uh, being willing to put ourselves out there and really blaze a trail. And also, Aries season just so happens to fall in the beginning of spring as well. So we're also going to be seeing themes surrounding rebirth, starting something new. And something that's really exciting about this season, and uh, this Aries season in particular, is that our vernal equinox, our spring equinox, and the full moon in Libra are going to be falling on the exact same day. Which is really special, which means we're going to be seeing and being called to set up a little bit more balance, um, harmony, and order in our lives as well. And my intention behind this yoga class is to guide you through some movements and a practice that's going to allow you to see some of those themes within your body and within your own practice. So I designed this yoga class so that it's suitable for beginners and all levels of yoga experience. So what I do want to say is that if you are a beginner, please, please listen to your body. At the end of the day, the, the postures and the way that you feel in them are what's going to be guiding your practice. So if I introduce a variation of a pose that doesn't quite work for you, it's painful, um, you can always feel free to modify it, find a, a shape that works better for you. I'll be offering some different modifications and also as we move through the postures, be offering different variations. So if you're a beginner, you might want to stick with one of the earlier variations that I offer. You know, feel free to push yourself and like I said, try something new, take a risk but ultimately listen to your body, how you're feeling in each posture and allow that to be your guide for your practice. So today we're gonna to begin standing toward the top of our mats. You can come to stand with your feet about hips distance apart to track your hip bone straight down, ankles will be lined up under there. From there, we'll grip the ground with our toes, pressing the feet firmly into the mat. Engage your quads so your legs are nice and sturdy underneath. From there, we'll engage our core, so draw your low belly in and up. Stand up a little taller. Relax the shoulders down. Stand tall with confidence, but still humble. Tuck the chin slightly. From there, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Fill all the way up. And full exhale out of the mouth. And the big inhale, fill up belly, ribs, and chest. You continue to take these deep rhythmic breaths, setting up a cadence and a flow that feels good for you. Notice the way the breath feels on the inhales, filling you up, expanding. Notice the grounding sensation of each exhale. As you move throughout our practice, the postures that we bring our body into, we're going to mimic the movement of the breath. Inhales to expand, reach, open up. And our exhales be to relax, to ground and settle a little bit deeper into our body. So with that, take an inhale, sweep your arms up, lift your gaze, look up past your fingertips. And as you exhale, we're gonna open twist. So swipe your right arm down and back. Reach your left arm forward, so now you're twisting and opening up through the spine. Peel the right shoulder back, maybe you'll look back towards your right fingertips. Inhale, reach the arms back up, lift the gaze. Exhale, twist to the left. Left arm reaches back, right arm forward. And there again, inhale, sweep the arms up, lift the chest. This time we're gonna dive down, come into a forward fold. So here, it's our first one. Be nice to your hamstrings. Bend your knees a little bit. Allow your spine to be nice and long, almost like you're trying to reach your belly to collapse and drape over your upper thighs. Bend the knees generously. Allow your head to hang. Fingertips come down towards the mat. Take a few nice deep breaths here. Notice the hamstrings lengthening, the spine lengthening. From here as we inhale, we're gonna round through our spine. Start to bring your hands up the body. And then you come to stand, reach the arms up, lift the gaze, lift the chest. And as you exhale, we'll twist, right arm slides back. 
Inhale, come back up through center, arms reach, gaze lifts. Exhale, open twist to the left. Inhale, we'll come up through center. Maybe lift the chest, arch back a tiny bit. Exhale as you dive all the way down, forward fold. Remember, you can bend the knees. From there, inhale, we're gonna drag the arms up the body, swish, sweep. And then exhale again, we'll start with our twist, creating a bit of a flow. Inhale to lift, go all the way up. Exhale to twist. Inhale again, we'll reach the arms up. This time, heart opener, back bend. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. As you inhale, draw the hands up the legs if you're drawing energy through the feet, through the legs, up the body, extending to the fingertips. Exhale, again, we'll twist. Back up through center. Exhale, twist to the left. Last time, inhale, we're gonna lift up, arch back, lift the heart. Exhale, lead with the heart, dive down, forward fold, hands to the back. This time, we're gonna bring our hands onto our shins and come into a halfway lift. So, press your hands into your legs and extend the crown of your head straight forward. Think about a long spine, tailbone pointing back, shoulder blades on your back, extend. Take an inhale to fill up. Create space in between each vertebrae. And then we're gonna plant the hands, step the feet back. So we're moving through our Suri Namaskar A, our Sun Salutation A. So first, let's explain, explain this next posture. So our Chaturanga, our yoga push-up, is one that we do in just about all of our Sun Salutations. Pretty common within a yoga flow. However, there are certain cues that you can use in this posture to make sure that it's safe for you and it's uh it's not too much of a struggle so you'll see what i'm talking about so from here press your hands into the mat spread them out and your arms can rotate inward right? internal rotation or external rotation for this posture you want to think about externally rotating your arms so your collarbones are broad pull your shoulder blades down onto your back so your neck is long and draw your navel your belly button in towards your spine from there, keep that. You're slowly gonna start to shift your weight forward to create one long line from your knees out through the crown of your head. And from here, we're gonna exhale, bend into the elbows. In our yoga push-up, our chaturanga, we try to keep the elbows right by the ribs. From there, keep your hips low, untuck your toes, drop your hips down towards the ground, press your hands into the mat, lift your chest, coming into our low cobra. So we have our elbows bent by our sides, Nice long neck, drop the shoulders away from the ear, send the heart forward. And on your next exhale, we're gonna lift the hips, glide back, bring yourself into your child's pose. Forehead comes down onto the ground. Take a full round of breath here, in through the nose, and out through the nose. From there, we're gonna take an inhale. Bring yourself forward to a high plank. So with our chaturanga, our yoga push-up, if you're a beginner, you can have your knees down. If you wanna do the full variation of the posture, you'll keep your collarbones broad, navel drawing in, shift your weight forward, and as you exhale, chaturanga always on an exhale, bend into your elbows, keep them close, lower yourself down. Don't allow your shoulders to dip below the elbows. Generally, that's gonna help keep the shoulders nice and sturdy, help keep them safe. From there, you can roll over the tops of the toes, lift into an upward facing dog, chest lifted, arms straight, and then exhale. This time we'll come into a downward facing dog, roll over the toes, send the hips up and back, creating an upward or an upside down V-shape with the body. Send the hips up and back, chest reaches towards the upper thighs, press your hands and your fingers into the mat, heels work down towards the ground. Take two more solid breaths here, in through the nose, out through the nose. From here, as we inhale, we're gonna look to the top of the mat. And as you exhale, take some little baby steps, lift the heels, tiptoe your way all the way to the top of the mat. Inhale to lift up halfway. Again, hands press onto the shins, Head reaches away from the hips. And as you exhale, tilt the pelvis forward, bend the knees a little bit, collapse over the legs. 
As we inhale, we're gonna sweep the arms up, stand tall, lift the gaze, look up past the fingers. And as you exhale, we'll bring hands down through heart center. Samastiti. We'll start again, inhale, sweep the arms up, lift the gaze. Exhale, dive down to the mat, four more fold. Inhale, hands on shins, lift your head halfway. Exhale, we're gonna plant the hands and step back so you're at the top of your high plank. Getting ready for a vinyasa. Inhale, glide the weight forward. So now if you look at your shoulders over your fingertips, and as you exhale, you can lower the knees or bend straight into the elbows, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale for your heart opener. Remember, you can have your elbows bent for low cobra or arms straight. Exhale, downward facing dog, inverted V. Look back in between the knees, back of your neck is long. Press your fingers and your palms into the mat so your wrists aren't getting all this work here. Send the chest back, hips high. Take an inhale, look to the top of the mat. Exhale, take some baby steps. Inhale to lift up halfway. Exhale for your forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way to stand. Arms reach above your head, look up. Exhale, hands down through heart center, root down through both feet. We'll start again. Inhale, sweep the arms up. This time, maybe lift your chest, arch back. Exhale, dive down to the mat, forward fold. Inhale to lengthen halfway, hands on the shins, pull shoulder blades together. Exhale, plant your hands, we're gonna move through that vinyasa. So step back, maybe lower yourself down on the exhale. Inhale for your heart opener. Exhale, downward facing dog, three deep breaths. to the top of the mat. Exhale to step or hop forward. Inhale to lengthen halfway. Exhale again, forward fold. Inhale, you'll rise to stand, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands through heart center. We'll start our sun salutation cycle one more time. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale to lengthen halfway. Exhale, plant the hands. You're gonna move through a vinyasa. Inhale for your heart opener. We'll meet in downward facing dog and here we take three breaths. between the hands, lower the knees down onto the mat. Set up your tabletop position. Wrists will be under the shoulders. Knees will be under your hips. From here, you're gonna firm up through your low belly. So draw your navel in towards your spine. That's gonna lengthen your low back a little bit. The tailbone points back. The crown of your head reaches forward. So think about a long line from your tailbone, reaching through the spine, extending through the crown of the head. Here we're gonna keep this, keep low belly pulling in, pelvis in a neutral position. Take an inhale, slide your right leg out behind you so that you can keep your right heel in line with your right hip. So use your right glute to lift here, press back and engage through your right thigh so it feels like you're pressing into a wall behind you. From there, if you have the balance, keep low belly pulled in, maybe you'll reach your opposite arm forward. So coming into a bit of a spinal balance, Left fingertips extended, reaching forward, right heel kicking back. And then take one more deep breath in, fill all the way up, expand. From here as you exhale, your left hand comes down. You're gonna pull your right knee in towards your chest, so round through your upper back a tiny bit, press down through the hands. And here, you wanna get your right hamstrings in 
as well. So flex your right heel as if you're drawing it towards your butt. Pull your knee towards your chest, hugging in tight. Good. Come here, hold for one more breath. Feel your quad on the right side, your hamstring active. Good, building a little heat. From here, your left toes are tucked under behind you. There's two different ways that we're gonna go about this, or you could. From here, you can step both feet back, lift up for downward facing dog, and then lift your right leg up behind you. Coming into your three-legged dog here. Or, straight from this tucked position, you can just tuck your left toes under, keep your right heel lifted, extend as you lift your left or right leg back, coming straight into your three-legged dog, whichever transition feels best for you. From here, we have both hip bones level with one another, so look back. See if you can see your right pinky toe flexing down towards the ground. From there, with hips squared, you can use your right glute to lift your heel a tiny bit higher up towards the ceiling. Feel a nice stretch through your left hamstring. Extend out through your right heel. And one more deep inhale, lift. And as we exhale, both feet are gonna come down, knees come down to touch, tabletop position, same thing on the other side. Take an inhale, this time your left leg is gonna extend out behind you. And here, notice what you can feel in your body. Notice your hamstring, notice your left glute. Once you're ready, extend your right arm forward. Notice the core that you have to, the core stability you have to engage. Pull that right shoulder back into the socket. Take another inhale, reach out, and extend forward. As you exhale, both hands come down, round and tuck, and we'll hold for a few breaths here. We wanna get that hamstring a little fired up. Flex, pull the knee in towards your butt. Pull your heel up towards you, round through your upper back. From here, right toes are gonna to stay tucked under. On an inhale, you'll lift up for your three-legged dog. Press the fingers into the mat, extend through the left heel. Now again, the tendency is to allow this hip to open up. That way we can lift our, our leg up a little higher, right? It's nice for our ego. However, if you really want to get some stronger glutes, some stronger hamstrings in this posture, keep the hips level, lift through your left glute, extend through the heel, press your chest back towards your right thigh. One more big inhale. From there, exhale, lower down, tabletop. And here we'll smooth it out, create a bit of a flow. As you inhale, right leg goes back, left arm reaches forward. As you exhale, both hands down, pull your knee in towards your chest, left toes are tucked. Inhale, you're gonna lift up, three-legged dog, right glute engaged. Exhale, tabletop position. And we'll start on the other side. Inhale, left leg back, right arm reaches forward. Exhale, round and tuck. Inhale, three-legged dog, lift up, extend. Exhale, tabletop position. Moving slow. Inhale, right leg behind you, left forward. Exhale, round. Left toes tucked underneath you, that way it's a smooth transition. Inhale, kick straight up, three-legged dog, hamstring flexing. Exhale, tabletop, one more side. Good. Inhale, left leg back, right arm forward. Exhale to round and crunch. Inhale, three-legged dog, extend, fill all the way up with breath. Exhale, tabletop position. From there, take an inhale just to hold, core nice and tight. Exhale, find your way into your child's pose. Sink the hips back on top of the heels. Forehead comes down onto the mat. From here, you're gonna wiggle your palms together on the ground. Bend at the elbows so your thumbs come to the nape of your neck. Stretch through the backs of the arms, the shoulders. breath, see if you can use the breath to steady and calm the heartbeat, steady and calm the mind. The 
from child's pose, you're slowly gonna lift yourself back up onto hands and knees, tuck your toes under, and then we'll lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Remember you were making your way to the top of the mat, so inhale, look forward. As you exhale, you can step or float. Inhale to lift up halfway, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. This time we're gonna bend the knees generously, sink the hips low, swing your arms up alongside your ears, come into your chair pose. So yes, it feels like you're sitting down back into a small chair. Look down, you'll be able to see your big toes wiggling in front of your knees. Keep reaching the arms up towards the ceiling, long spine. Feel this pressure and this engagement pressing into the feet. Quads, the front of your thighs is nice and active. Reach the arms up. Take one more deep inhale. And as you exhale, sink the hips just a tiny bit low. Moving a little heat. Inhale, straighten the both legs. This time you're going to pull your right knee to lift up with you. So press through your left foot. Left quad engaged, thigh nice and tight. And then core, belly pulling in. Extend up through the fingertips just as much as you're pressing down through the feet. This union of opposites in order to achieve balance in our practice and our bodies. One more deep inhale. Maybe extend your right leg out long. Feel this quad. Building heat. Aries is a fire sign. It's okay. <laughs> One more inhale. And as you exhale from here, first let's bring hands through heart center. You're slowly going to swing your right leg out behind you. Now, if you find that you're falling or not able to keep this balance, you can bring your fingertips onto the crown and just extend your right leg behind you. If you still have hands through heart center, extend the crown of your head forward and reach back, kick through your right heel, quad engaged. Good, we're going to warrior three. From here, if you feel steady and grounded in this posture, you can maybe split your arms and take them towards the back, coming into kind of an airplane lunge or an airplane version of our warrior three. Or you can reach both arms forward, bring a little more engagement through your back, through your shoulders. Take one more full deep inhale if you're breathing all the while. And as you exhale, lower both hands down. From here, you're going to pull your right knee in and place your right knee on the mat beside your left foot. Come to sit back. Now, this is wildly uncomfortable for your right quad, which it might be. You can bring yourself into this shape here. Just standing on top of your right knee. Left leg is still reaching out long. From here, whichever shape you chose, take an inhale. Sweep both arms out in front of you. Reach. From here, you're going to come into an open twist, similar to what we did in the beginning of practice. So draw your right arm back. Look back towards your right fingertips, opening and extending out into this posture, which is actually from the ancient Kemetic yoga tradition. It's called the pose of mat. And in this tradition, the mayat concept represents balance, order, harmony. And the goddess who personifies those concepts for us is often depicted in this shape, extending, opening up through the arms. One more deep inhale. From here as you exhale, both hands are gonna come down. You'll step your right foot far back. And then from here, spin your right heel down onto the mat. Send your hips back. So lowering into what we call our pyramid pose. Both hands are going to frame your left foot. And from here, start to fold over your front leg. Now, this hamstring, ooh, it might be talking to you right now. If it's not happy with your leg being straight, you can bend your knee a little bit. That's fine. Just keep a nice long spine. Collapse forward over your leg. Two more breaths. From here, we want to make sure our stance is wide enough. Bend deep into your left knee. So your left knee is tracking over your left ankle. Turn your right toes out so your back foot is at a bit of a diagonal. From here, keep both hips ideally opening towards the front of your mat. Sweep your arms forward up, coming into our warrior one. So you're going to press through the pinky side, the outside edge of your back foot so you can feel your right glute. Bend deep into your front knee. Reach the arms up. 
Now you can choose to stay here with a steady stacked spine or we can bring a bit of a heart opener through the front of the chest. So draw your navel in towards your spine and slowly start to reach your heart up towards the ceiling, arching back, reaching the thumbs towards the wall behind you so you can open up through the shoulders as well. And breathe, one more deep, big inhale, arch back. From here as we exhale, we're gonna lower the hands down to the mat to frame your left foot, step your left foot back, landing in our high plank. Now here we're gonna hold for 10 breaths. And this is generally not one of our favorite postures. It's really taxing on our core, your abdominals, your back, your legs. But as I said, we're moving into this airy season. It's a time of exploration. It's a time of action. We need to be strong in the center of our being, in the core of our beings, so that we can keep balance in our lives. Take inspired action. Here, take just three more deep breaths. And as you exhale, lower the knees, sink the hips back, forehead comes to the mat, child's pose, rest for five breaths. center we're swinging back for our warrior three remember fingertips and come onto the ground hands can stay at heart center or you can spread your arms back that means this airplane variation of our warrior three right leg is grounded into the mat left leg is extended out behind you two more breaths from here as we exhale we're going to lower both hands to the mat Pull that left knee in, coming into our pose for Ma'at, balance and harmony. Remember, you can also keep yourself standing here. From here, both arms reach forward. Okay. And then you'll bring yourself into your twist. Peel your left arm back now. Look back towards the left fingertips. You can feel the muscles along the sides of your ribs contracting to help twist you. Bring the body up, open up. Take an inhale to sit up a little bit taller, extend the spine. Exhale, twist a bit deeper, relax the shoulders. From there, inhale, lower the hands down, lift the hips up, step your left foot back, coming into your pyramid pose. And as you exhale, we fold over that right leg. It might be bent, maybe not. But again, listening to your body, it'll tell you which variation of this shape feels best for you. left toes turning out behind you. Take a deep bend into your right knee. You might have to scoot your foot forward. Take a nice long stance. 
From here, sweep the arms forward and up, coming into your warrior one. Then deep into that right knee, sink the hips down low. So here we want to draw our right hip back. Left hips kind of uh, opening forward. Reach the arms up. From there, stay here. Spine might be stacked or bring a bit of a heart opener. Reach your chest up towards the ceiling. Arch back, thumbs reach. Keep that generous bend in your right knee and take a few breaths. Inhale to breathe. Open up the collarbones, fill up. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Round. One more inhale, reach. Exhale, both hands come down to the mat. Step your feet back. Again, we'll come through our high plank. But this time we also want to get our core on the sides as well, our oblique. So from here, bring both feet together at the back of your mat. You're going to drop both of your heels over to the left so that your toes face over towards the right. Get really light in your right hand. Sweep your right arm up towards the ceiling so we're coming into our side plank. Your body is not having this. <laughs> this is not working. You can, you have a few options. You can lower your left knee, your bottom knee down onto the ground. That'll give you like a little kickstand here. If this is too difficult on your wrist for some reason, you can also bring yourself so that you're in a forearm side plank. Right arm reaching up. From here, take two more deep breaths. And then we'll switch right over to the opposite side. So right hand or right forearm comes down to the mat. Heels drop to the right, left arm lifts up. So here, keep your hips lifting up towards the ceiling so you can feel your obliques, the muscles on the side of your ribs, working to keep you lifted and supported here. And three more breaths, building a little bit of heat in the core, a little fire, typical for our Aries. One more deep breath, lift the hips. Exhale, lower both hands down, bring the knees on to the mat, sit back, child's pose. From your inhale, take a deep breath. Exhale, sigh out of the mouth. From here, you can keep your arms reaching forward or bring your hands back beside your feet. Allow the shoulder points to relax. Spine relaxes. Deepen the breath. two hands and knees and then slither yourself down onto your belly coming to lie flat untuck the toes so toenails press into the mat press down so hard that your kneecaps lift away from the ground your quads are engaged underneath you from here hands are pressing into the mat beside your chest take an inhale press into the hands lift your chest come into our low cobra we'll hold for a couple breaths drop the shoulders down on your back magnetize like you're drawing your hands back towards you and you're sending your chest and your heart forward. One more deep inhale, press into the hands, lift up a little bit more. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, lift up, hands and knees. Exhale, tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. From here, take an inhale, lift your right leg straight up behind you, coming into your three like a dog. As you exhale, you're going to round. Bring your knee forward towards your nose. Good, and then hold. This posture is similar to what we did earlier. Remember, flexing through your hamstrings so that your heel can come in towards your butt. Inhale, extend up three like a dog again. Exhale, this time we're going to round. Step your foot forward in between your hands. Now, you might have to wiggle and jimmy scoot your foot forward. That's fine, okay? your back heel lifted. From here, take an inhale. You're going to lift your arms forward and up, coming into our high crescent. So back heel is lifted, both arms reach. Take one more deep breath. Look up past the fingertips. And as you exhale here, bring hands, start to sweep behind you. Shift your weight into your right foot. Slide your left leg in or step forward, coming into your warrior three. Now you have the option of staying here 
So we built a lot of heat in the hamstrings and the glutes. So you might be able to use that from here. Potentially you're coming into what's called toppling tree. So your chest would dive down towards the mat. You'd lift your left heel up behind you. This posture always makes me feel as though I'm diving forward into the unknown. Just leading with the heart, opening up, taking a leap. Play with the balance, feel the calibrations on your right foot. It's okay to wobble, it's okay to fall down. You've tried something new, that's all that matters. Take one more inhale, lift your left heel. And as you exhale, you're gonna lower your left knee down onto the mat, again, proposing for or preparing for our pose, our mat. From here, both arms reach forward. Take an inhale, you're gonna spin your left arm back. Open your chest, look back towards your left hand. Now, from here, spin your hands so that your thumbs point down. And then you're gonna bend at your elbows and bring your hands so they're coming in to touch kind of where your, your ribs are, your waist. From there, push your right elbow into your right knee. Use that as leverage to twist yourself open, looking back over the left shoulder. A bit of a deeper twist of the spine. Feel this ringing out. Letting go of the old, creating space for something new. We will slowly unravel, lower both hands down to the mat. Then you're gonna step back, bring yourself through your high plank, Lift the hips up, downward facing dog. We have one more side. From here, on the left, take an inhale. Left leg lifts up behind you, three-legged dog. As you exhale, you're gonna round. Bring the knee towards your nose. You're creating as much space underneath you as possible, so press through the hand. Press the upper back. On your next inhale, extend up, lift, three-legged dog. Exhale, round, crunch, create that space, step your left foot through, hips stay low. From here, inhale, sweep the arms forward, up, coming into that high crescent lunge. And as you exhale, just settle the shoulders, settle down in the hips. Take one more inhale to reach and extend up through the fingertips. As you exhale, load your left foot, sweep the arms back, maybe taking flight, coming into your warrior three. Stay here, or take it a little bit deeper, start to tilt. Right leg lifts up, so you're using your right glute. Reach the heart forward, open it up towards the ground. Arms reach back, a toppling tree, taking a bit of a risk. You can even watch your left foot as it's calibrating. Naturally, try to find balance underneath you. Guys, one more deep inhale. And as you exhale, knee comes down onto the mat, arms reach forward. Inhale, peel the right shoulder back. Again, opening up, mat, balance. Harmony, from here, turn the hands down. Bring, bring the hands to your low belly. Use this contact point here as leverage. Twist, open through the chest. Right shoulder peels back, look back. Take two breaths. Unravel, press both hands into the mat behind you. We're slowly going to extend our legs out in front of us. Come to have a seat. From here, we'll take a deep breath in, fill all the way up, and a full sigh out of the mouth. More like that. From there, close the eyes, notice how you feel.
about thoughts from what happened earlier in your day or from what has yet to happen, allow those thoughts to just come into your mind and leave the same way they entered. Stay focused on your breath. Notice how you feel. Extend it out in front of you. And then keep the left leg long. From here, pull your right knee in and open it out towards the side. So the sole of your right foot is planting on the inside of your left thigh. Hips stay square. Flex through your left toes. From here, take an inhale. Sweep both arms up. Lift your gaze. Long spine. As you exhale, we're going to twist slightly over towards the left. And then start to fold. Reaching your hands over towards the left side of the mat, holding forward, feeling this in your left hamstring, but maybe also in the right side of your low back. And here you can use your hand, maybe if you're grabbing onto your foot, to give yourself a slight, slight little tug forward, encouraging the chest to come down and relax over your left leg. Center and then place 
place them over on the right. Gaze turns to the left. Relax the hips, relax your shoulders down. Relax your neck.
to rest in Shavasana for a few minutes, as is traditional after a yoga practice. This is arguably one of the most important postures. This is where your body gets to sit and integrate everything that you just did. So we balance the action and the outward focus of our postures, allow our bodies to rest and our attention to turn. I've been a yoga instructor for three years now. I've been practicing yoga for five. And right now, currently, I'm an instructor and the yoga boutique manager at a Lifetime Athletic location. And um, you can also find me online on my social media handles. I pretty much use Instagram for the majority of my posting. So find me on there on IG at Candid underscore vibes underscore. Thank you so much. <laughs> 